I'm going to figure out if this group of ordered pairs represents a function. To be a function, every input needs to have exactly one output. To help figure out if this is true in this example, I'm going to use an input-output map, like this. Now I can take a closer look at each of these ordered pairs. In each ordered pair, the x value is the input, and the y value is the output. So I'll start by taking this first ordered pair and putting it on my map. This ordered pair has an input of 2 and an output of negative 5. I'll use an arrow to show that this input produces this output. Now I'll look at this ordered pair. This ordered pair has an input of 3 and an output of negative 2. So far there are two different inputs, each with its own output. This ordered pair has an input of 4 and an output of negative 2. That's the same output as there was with 3. That's okay though. Two different inputs can share the same output. Next, there's another input of 4 and an output of 0. That's a problem. Because now the input of 4 has an output of negative 2 and an output of 0. So this input has two different outputs. In a function, an input can only have one output. So this set of ordered pairs does not represent a function. Let's try this problem together. We're going to figure out if these ordered pairs represent a function. In each of these ordered pairs, the x represents the input and the y represents the output. We'll use an input-output map to organize the information. Let's start with this point. Which number is the input? The x value of negative 10 is the input. So under input, we'll put a negative 10. Across from that, under output, we'll add 4 and 5 tenths. Next, we'll move to this point. There's an input of negative 5 and an output of 6 and 75 hundredths. So far, we have two different inputs on our map. At this point, does this map show a function? The two inputs each have just one output. So right now, our map is showing a function. We'll add this point next. An input of 0 and an output of 9. Now, does this map still show a function? There's now three inputs, each with just one output. So the map still shows a function. Now we'll add these last two points to our map. Now that we've shown all five points, our map is complete. So using this map, do these ordered pairs represent a function? All five points each have just one output. So this map still shows a function. So do these ordered pairs represent a function? Yes, they do. Together, let's figure out if these ordered pairs represent a function. In each of these ordered pairs, the x represents the input and the y represents the output. We'll use an input-output map to organize the information. Let's start with this point. Which number is the input? The x value of 1 is the input, so under input, we'll put a 1. Across from that, under output, we'll add 1 fourth. Next, we'll move to this point. There's another input of 1 and again an output of 1 fourth. Since this point is the exact same ordered pair, there's no need to add it to our map a second time. But we should notice that the input of 1 still results in the same output of 1 fourth. So at this point, does this map show a function? So far, an input of 1 has just a single output of 1 fourth. So right now, the map is showing a function. We'll add this point next. An input of 2 and another output of 1 fourth. Now, does this map still show a function? Both of the inputs on the map each have one consistent output, so this is still showing a function. It's okay that the output is the same for both. Now we'll add this last point to our map. Now that we've shown all four points, does this map still show a function? Every input on the map has just one output, so this map still shows a function. So, these ordered pairs do show a function. Use what you've learned to figure out if these ordered pairs represent a function. These ordered pairs can be shown on an input-output map like this. As you can see, the input of 3 tenths has two different outputs, 70 and 71. So, these ordered pairs do not represent a function. On your own, determine if these ordered pairs represent a function. These ordered pairs can be shown on an input-output map like this. As you can see, all of the four inputs each have just one output. It's okay that 51 and 53 share an output of negative 10. So, these ordered pairs do represent a function.
That's all for now. Thanks for building your math muscles with us.